Today, I want to talk to you about a scientific topic that has really caught my attention. It's called the static electricity. And you may be wondering what it is, and that's why you're just a bit. But first, listen to this. We all have experienced a phenomenon related to static electricity at some point of our day, but few of us know what it actually means. So in this video, I want to make sure you understand it as much as possible. And with that, let's start by defining it. Static electricity is an electric charge that has accumulated on an object. It is often created when two objects that are not good electrical conductors are rubbed together, causing the electrons from one of the atoms to rub off onto the other. For example, this happens when combing one's hair or taking off a sweater. In addition, it's called static electricity because the charges remain in one area rather than moving or flowing into another area. We see static electricity every day. It can even build up on us, like when we rub our feet on the carpet and we zap something when we touch it, just like this. And believe it or not, static electricity, it has its own rules, such as opposite charges attract each other and like charges repel each other, uh, as well as charged objects attract neutral ones. So now, I'm going to give you a practical illusion, and I'm pretty sure we all have done this as kids, at least one time. So, I have a comb and a piece of paper, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to just rub the comb against my hair, like so, and watch how the paper is going to stick to the, to the roller, to the comb, sorry. This, I used to think my body has superpowers that attracts, I don't know, paper or like a magical soul that has the comb, but no. Since uh, I grew up, I learned about science and physics, and now I know the science behind it. So when you rub two items together, like comb and hair, uh, the electrons from one of the items rub off onto the other, or like move onto the other. And in our case, the, the comb got all the negative charge, and in contact with the paper with positive charge, they attracted each other. And now I have something else for you. Apparently, if you mix salt and pepper, you can actually separate them. How? With a comb. You can just rub the comb against your hair so it gets coated and stuff and then you take the comb and put it on the bowl like not close but just a little bit and then just like this the pepper flakes get attracted to the comb and they stick to the comb so yeah